Welcome. We're going to begin by asking you to introduce yourself to the voters and in 30 seconds, tell your story. My name is Terrence Roberts. I am running to be the 46th mayor of Denver. I'm also 46 years old. I'm born and raised in Northeast Park Hill. My grandmother owned a small business, a soul food restaurant called a, &A Fish Market. Um, I was raised in that fish market. My entire family was raised in that fish market. And I want to be the mayor of Denver because I know we could do better with a one and a half billion dollar general fund, more money coming from the federal government. We, mean, we need more public housing and we need to do more for our youth and for our domestic violence issues. First question, insiders tell us the four most important issues in the race are crime, homelessness, housing, and transportation. Rank them from most important to least important and explain why. I am going to say housing gets the most important and this is why because the other issues fall under our housing, especially um, our crime issue. In Denver, Colorado, we need more public housing. Uh, affordable housing is owned by developers. We also need a public banking system to pay for our public housing. If somebody cannot afford their rent, which we also need rent controls, if they can't afford their rent, that's the number one precursor to child abuse, to domestic violence, and guess what the number one precursor of kids joining gangs are, which is a lot of our violence issues in Denver, domestic violence in the home. Not the father not being there is domestic violence, so I think housing is our number one issue, and I think all of those issues fall under housing, and I think transportation, I'm definitely for our environmental issues, but I would definitely put housing and crime over our transportation issues. Based upon your number one priority, housing, what is your pledge to voters on how you will address it and how it may be different than your opponents? So right now I am literally the only candidate, maybe there's more, there are more starting to glean off of my platform, saying we need more public slash social housing. Every other municipal candidate I've heard so far is talking about affordable housing. Affordable housing is owned by billionaire developers. I promise you they will still be billionaires even after my um, term and there's, there's still gonna be affordable housing. I'm not against affordable housing, I'm just saying we need more public housing and the way to pay for it is we need to bring a public banking system um, into the city of Denver. Los Angeles is instituting, instituting a public banking system, so is Philadelphia, and their issues are way more drastic than what we're dealing with in Denver. 8,000 homeless versus 30,000 homeless in downtown LA. We could do better in Denver. Like many cities, there are a lot of financial needs in Denver. If elected, what would you prioritize and where would you trim? I mean, I really feel like we need to um, keep an emphasis on our small businesses. Even a lot of those businesses that close on the 16th Street Mall, these weren't huge box businesses. A lot of them were smaller businesses who could no longer afford to rent or they couldn't deal with what they perceived was an influx of crime coming to the 16th Street Mall. We need to make the five points a historic arts district. Our five points is, is, is decimated right now. 16th Street Mall is not getting activity. Denver should be a 24-hour city. We should be making investments in our small businesses, and we should be making investments into our housing, and we need to institute things like a public banking system. Make Denver a 24-hour city. That's more sales tax revenue, and that's more of a tourist um, destination for this city. Bring trade shows to Denver. We need to bring the film industry and the music industry to Denver. There's a lot of things we could do to generate income in Denver and to address our housing and our shortage of workers situation. As we know, Denver is a wonderfully diverse city. Will you make a commitment to ensure your administration reflects the city's diversity? And if yes, how? Yeah, I mean, definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm a person of color myself and I've organized around justice issues, diversity issues for women, the LGBTQIA community, victims of violence, we need to make sure that the city invests in things like the Cinco de Mayo celebration. Uh, and, and the city needs to make more of an investment in Juneteenth. Juneteenth is a huge celebration, but it's more privatized than it is publicized for the entire city. We need to make sure that all of our cultural events are, are, are sustained. We need to make sure we have trade shows that bring different diversities of people, um, different communities of people to, in, to our city, not just within Denver. We need diversity to also come into Denver, but people who live in Denver need to be able to afford houses, live by each other, and be neighborly to one another. So, City Council has the potential for a significant change after this election. How are you planning to work with the new council and what will that relationship look like? I think we need to, this is another one of my platform items, adding more democracy to the city of Denver. I am saying personally, and I'm running for mayor, the mayor's position in Denver has too much power. We need to change the city charter to where we only have two term mayors 
starting with my administration, a two-term mayor versus a three-term mayor is totally different politics. We need to, at the very least, let city council help pick the, um, um, the city attorney, the chief of police, the fire chief and the sheriff, or those need to be elected positions. But working closer with city council since they represent their district is definitely what I'm gonna do. I have to submit my budget to city council. So we have to have a good working relationship um, to get the things done that I'm saying I wanna get done. 17 candidates on the ballot. Mm -hmm. If you could ask one other candidate one question, who is it and what would it be? I think I'll probably ask Mike Johnston because he's my old office mate. We share the office in the Holly Square. How him becoming the mayor of Denver is gonna be different from when he was a state senator in our office and people were complaining that he was not there. And I hate to go negative with this, but there's a chance that Mr. Johnson could be my mayor for the next 12 years. And that's a serious question because he's a serious candidate. A fun question now. What's the last book you read and why? And what do you do for fun? The last book I read, this is gonna sound so selfish, but I read The Holly. The last book I personally read was The Holly because I had to do a reread of it. I'm the protagonist in the book, but I'm gonna be honest, that is the last book I read. And I, and I read it because I'm the protagonist, it's the history of Denver. So I learned a lot besides myself being in there. Um, and I had to know what other people were saying about our city because I wasn't there for every interview. Uh, over 100 people were interviewed for this. So I learned a lot, but that is the last book I read was The Holly. And what do you do for fun? Um, I take walks around Cheeseman Park. I play basketball. Uh, right now, running my campaign is actually fun for me. I think if someone's running a campaign and they're stressed out about it, they probably shouldn't be the next mayor of Denver. But right now, this is consuming a lot of my time. Uh, and I think this is fun. This is fun right here. <laughs> but organizing people is fun for me. Time for a closing statement. Look into the camera, right. talk to the voters of Denver. What do you want them to know in two minutes or less? We need to make sure that Denver is more of a world-class city. Denver is a world-class city, but we could do way better with a one and a half billion dollar budget. Denver is the exact opposite of being a defunct city. There are over 19,400 cities in America. Some of them are federally run. Some of them are bankrupt. Denver is not a bankrupt city. We have a great city. We have a great downtown area. We have cultural communities. All of these things are in danger. If we don't get a mayor in office who is going to be truly concerned and do the things that we need done, like lowering their own terms, like giving more power to city council, we're going to be talking about these same housing issues when instead of 8,000 people on our streets, we're going to have 18,000 people on our streets in the next 10 to 12 years. Instead of 88 homicides last year, we may be dealing with 108, 208 just in our metro area. So we can do way better in the city of Denver just with the general fund we have. We need to put a mayor in office who is going to present a housing budget that is more than 2% of our, of our public safety. Housing is our biggest issue in Denver, and we need more than a mayor who's gonna present a 2% housing budget. We can do better in Denver with the right leadership in the city. That's what the mayor is supposed to be here for, not politicking, but providing leadership to their constituency. I'm here to do that. Terrence Roberts, yes, sir. thank you for your candid thank answers you. and your time. Absolutely, I appreciate it. Good luck. Yes, sir, thank you very much.